Hello everyone. We are looking forward to the international friendly match tomorrow. Uh, we have been training well and uh, the new players have been introduced to the principle of, of, of our style of playing. So they, they know now how we want to attack, how we want to defend. And I hope it will be uh, not a good uh, performance uh, tomorrow against uh, Sudan. Sudan is, uh, is a good team. Uh, they all, we already seen them here playing against Central Africa. And we could see they are very comfortable on the ball. They're very good in short passing. Special if you give them time and space, then they are very comfortable on the ball. As I told you last time, this camp is very important for us because it will and can give us some, some answers on our questions. Where are we on our journey for the preparation for AFCON qualifiers and CHAN qualifiers later this year? Uh, I also want, would like to take this opportunity now to tell you that for CHAN, I hope it will be possible to have a camp for the home-based players. Uh, that was back in the time what we called the Taifa Stars, Racing Stars. So I would like to have a camp where we select players from who are the home base player and uh, to identify uh, players not only for the chance but also for the future to bring them into the pipeline into uh, Taifa Stars. And to do that I hope we can have a camp where we can identify, I can look at players from the NBC, Premier League, I can look at players at the Sun, uh, Zanzibar League, I can look uh, at the ASM TV to follow the matches there and I can go there live to see the matches. Because the day where we have finished the AFCON, uh, first part of the AFCON qualifier, we have now to play the Chan qualifier. And then the foreign player will go out, so we need to have prepared some in the pipeline who are ready to step, uh, to step in. But uh, for this camp, uh, so far, we are happy with the new players who, uh, who are on board because they have, they have been training well, they have, uh, they have been, they've been a smooth transition into the team, so there is a good uh, atmosphere in the camp. Players are pushing each other to the training, we are training on a high level, and that's also the, uh, the reason I expect and I hope to see a good performance uh, tomorrow again. So we are looking very much forward to, to that game. Uh, yeah, Asan Asan, any question or we also have uh, Shadrach here and the doctor here if there's anything. To, for this camp to identify which player can do a good job for type of stars when we are going to play the AFCON qualification. So it will be more or less the same approach in the game tomorrow. And what is your strategy towards the tomorrow game? Okay. But my strategic is to go out and try to, to play our style, our way, and uh, to, uh, to get the ball as much as possible. But it's not only about possession, we are talking a lot, of, a lot about effective possession. And I was quite happy with the first game that we created a good number of chances. Uh, we converted three of them into to goals. So at the offensive part, that was uh, fine. I still want us to be, when the chance is there, to be even more uh, clinical and to, the important thing in attacking today is to get, bring the ball up on the last third of the opponent's half because then you are close to the goal and try to get behind that defence because in the, in the moment you get behind, uh, behind that defence, they will have problem. So offensively I think we created chances. A good number of chances actually, and we scored three nice goals as well. For the defensive, defending part, I still want our defense to be more focused and concentrated throughout the game. Because I still see some moment that, especially when we have the ball, we are, we are losing a little bit of our concentration. And that's the moment, next moment the opponent has the ball and they will hit us. I want our players, especially our defenders, to always be in a good balance. Even we are attacking, you still need to be aware of where is my opponent, so you have a good picture, that comes by concentration and you stay focused. Sometimes I think we are a little bit too relaxed when we are defending. 
Also sometimes when we are uh, attacking, we will see our holding midfielder, both of them, they will run away and they empty the, the space, the dangerous space. So this is some of the things we have tried to put into the training, that we want to see our defense uh, a little bit more strength. But I think actually Shadra can comment a little bit on that. He was one of the, the strong defenders uh, back in time. So maybe he can give us in Swahili a little bit uh, on, on our thought about that area. Laba vinda jaribu kusimenti kidogo hapo. Uh, kwenye upande wa, wa mabeki ni kuwa tunahitaji mabeki wetu wawe kidogo wana 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 kila mara wanakuwa tunapokuwa hatuna mpira wana wanaweka akili yao bado kama tukipoteza mpira tunafanya nini ndio hicho kikubwa tumejaribu kwenye mazoezi nafikiri ndio njia yetu kubwa ili kufanya kwa sababu hizi mechi za mandalizi ambao tunajiandaa mechi za mwezi wa sita ya qualify chani na na, na afcon kwa ni, ni njia ambayo tunaichukua hadi sasa tunakuwa wakali wakati tunafanya mazoezi kwa lazima tuwe makini dakika zote. Uweza hatuna mpira wakati tuna mpira. Na hasa tukiwa hatuna mpira. Kwa sababu kiwa na mpira timu inakuwa iko wanakuwa narudi kwenye ile hali ya kawaida. Kwa wapinzani wakichukua mpira inakuwa inakuwa mbaya zaidi. Lakini tukiwa hatuna mpira kila mtu anakuwa yuko makini kwa hatuna mpira natakiwa tutafute mpira. Kwa hizo ni njia mbili ambazo tunafikiria.